And who's in your electric band these days? Well, right now I'm playing with Dover Weinberg, Brian Foxworth, and Dave Call. And then I have an acoustic band with Albert Rita and, and, and Brian and, you know, different things. Yeah. You, you and Albert go way back. Yeah, I love playing with Albert. You know, he, he, he knows my stuff really well and he knows all kinds of stuff. And he's, aside from being a, a really wonderful bass player, he's a wonderful singer. You and know, my mom really liked him, so. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Your mom liked him best. Is that it? Well, you know, Italian. She was Italian. He's Italian. So, you know. <laughs> um, so, uh, what is your electric band doing these days? Well, right now, we're just kind of doing a lot of improvisational music. And, uh, you know, I've got this electric record coming out, hopefully in the spring. Um, and uh, I'm just kind of waiting for that to happen. So, you know, we're doing some, the usual Terry Rob, you know, Muddy Vishnu. <laughs> what does that mean? Muddy Waters means Ma Vishnu. <laughs> Lack of better terms. <laughs> Soul, but a lot of notes. Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, whatever, you know, <laughs> you know, you know. I mean, Charlie Parker played a lot of notes. <laughs> well, you're known for playing a lot of notes. I guess so. I don't know. It's just my personality. Why is that? Just people play the way they talk and, and think. <laughs> and uh, I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't stop thinking about it. I, you know, I, 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 I try to mean everything I play, so. Yeah. <laughs> Are, do, you, do you practice a lot? I try to practice as much as I can. I wish really? I had more time. I would practice all the time. Really? I really, really enjoy it. Yeah. Huh. I remember a couple years ago when it uh, snowed that winter. Yeah. I could not leave my place for a week, and it was great. All I did was practice day and night. Wow. Yeah, it was fun. So what, what is it you do you have? Do you have, a, do you have, is it like a workout? Do you have a routine when you practice, or you just jam? No, I, 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 you know, it's like certain things. Like at that time, I was working on a Charlie Patton song, and mm -hmm. I was trying to get his phrasing down, different yeah. approaches to how he did it. And then, yeah, yeah. you know, I was writing songs for the new record at that mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And uh, just, you know, there's certain things you work on. Like I want to learn how to play this a little better. And, and you, know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I don't really sit down and say, I'm going to practice all my scales right now. Yeah. You know? yeah. You're over that. Well, no, you're <laughs> never over that. But I mean, you know, there's no, it's fun, you know. Yeah. I approach it as fun, so. Yeah. You, are you really never over that? No, you always got to keep learning. The guitar is, you know, it's, it's not an instrument you can really master. You know, you're always, people are always going at it at a different angle. I mean, I'm not the first person to say that, but that's the neat thing about it is, you know, everybody approaches it differently. And people are always coming up with new ways to play it. I mean, what, you know, what has happened, like, in the 80s or whatever, there's all that tapping thing, and that became like a new approach to the guitar. I mean, it had been done before, but it became an art form then, you know. Uh -huh. Just like uh, Charlie Christian turned it into an art form at one yeah. time. Yeah. You know, yeah. stuff that some people were doing, and he took it to another place. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty cool, the guitar. Is, is there one thing that really gets you right now? Uh, currently, I mean. Music-wise? Yeah. Uh, that you you're know, doing, I mean. Oh, that I'm doing? Yeah. That I really enjoy? Yeah. I really like this uh, new acoustic band thing I'm, I'm doing, uh -huh. and, um, and I'm, I'm getting other people involved, like Doug Smith, to be part of the band, wow. and really opening it up that way, and, uh -huh. and a few other different people like that. Huh. That's huh. really, I'm looking forward to doing some stuff like that. Of course, you play with him a lot in acoustic guitar Yeah, the summit. guitar summit, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, is that project dead? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> just I, asking. Was you hear something? Do <laughs> no, I no, no, no. Um, <laughs> No, we played, we just did a whole bunch of Christmas shows, ah. you know, our usual four or whatever uh -huh. it was, Christmas shows, three uh -huh. or four Christmas shows yeah. this year. Yeah. And, and then we usually do something, this, you know, maybe one in the spring and one in the summer and a couple in the summer and then our Christmas uh -huh. thing. Uh, uh -huh. We all have such separate careers, it's hard to yeah. do it all the time, but no. Is Paul Chasman back in the band? Paul Chasman's not back in the band, but Paul Chasman's back in playing. In fact, I did a couple of gigs with him last year, and I'm doing one in uh, Port Angeles at the Arts Fair uh, this May, and possibly one down here, too. He's back playing uh, better than ever. He was a great composer. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So what's your, what's your first set tonight? Do you know what it is, or are you, you no, just going to call the tunes? I'll call the tunes. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Based on what? And how I feel at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. These guys are great. You know, you always hire people, get people to play with you. Who you hire them because you like what they do, and you, and, you know, you kind of know similar songs. They do this, and then do your thing on it. You know, it's fun. <laughs>